By now it's hard to not have heard of the famous Stanley Cup that is all over TikTok, has been viral for months and months and months, is pretty much perpetually sold out, and is just literally all the rage. You basically can't go on the internet at this point without an influencer telling you that you absolutely need one or it's their favorite cup in the entire world. So today we are going to decide if they really live up to the hype and if they really are worth the expensive price point that they are at. We are going to be doing an extremely thorough review and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this cup that I'm holding, the Stanley H2O. So make sure you stay tuned to find out how you can win one. In this video, we are going to review the features of the bottle, we're going to go over price, we're going to compare it to other bottles on the market that are around the same price point that are also really nice, we're gonna be answering all of the FAQs and just really do a deep dive. So this is the video for you if you wanna know if you should get a Stanley Cup. So the first thing to note is that there are two different versions of this cup. The first one that came out is called the Stanley Stainless Steel Adventure Quencher Tumbler. It's a really big mouthful. And then the second one that came out is the Quencher H2.0 H2.0 2 Flow State Tumbler. So they got a little bit punny with that one. I really like that. The reason that they came out with the second one, I think primarily, is that the first one, everyone went crazy about it and they said it was really nice. But what people were saying is that the lid was leaking. And so they created the second one to fix that issue. And then I believe they fixed a couple things as well. So the cup that we are going to be reviewing in this video is the Stanley H2.0. Because obviously, if you're going to spend like $40 or up on a cup, you're going to want the one that doesn't leak. The Stanley H2.0 comes in a couple different sizes and price points. So this is the 40 ounce. There's also a 30 ounce and that one is $30. And then the 40 ounce, the normal 40 ounce cup is $40. And then this cup is a soft mat. So it has just like a little bit of a different material. And this one is $50. The one that I'm giving away is also soft mat and it is in the beautiful color Dune, the color that everyone seems to like that really like nice cream color. So make sure you stay tuned because you're definitely going to want to win it. So now let's talk a little bit about the cup. What makes it so great? Why everybody loves it. The 40 ounce seems to be the size that most people get. It's a really nice size because if you fill up the 40 ounce one twice, you are most certainly reaching your water goal. And if you fill up the 30 ounce one twice, you are almost reaching your water goal. So if you're doing like the eight, eight ounce glasses for your water goal, that's 64 ounces. So filling up a 30 ounce twice would almost get you there. And then filling up the 40 ounce twice would definitely get you there. So it's just a really good size that you only have to fill up your bottle twice and then you're basically at your water goal. So that's one thing that I think a lot of people really like. And then just because it has a straw, I always find that when I drink out of straws, I drink a lot more throughout the day and the handle because people can like carry it around. I have heard that a lot of people really like this cup because they drink just a lot more water than they normally would, which I will say with any water bottle, if you are just like carrying it around with you, you will drink more water than obviously if you don't have a water bottle with you. But that is is one of like the big pros. So I just want to kind of talk about the sizes and how many times you need to fill up in order to reach your water goal because that is very important. Looking at the website, it says that this bottle is constructed of recycled stainless steel for sustainable sipping. The 40 ounce quencher H2O offers maximum hydration with fewer refills. Commuting, studio workouts, day trips, or your front porch, you'll want this tumbler by your side. Thanks to Stanley's vacuum insulation, your water will stay ice cold hour after hour. The advanced flow state lid features a rotating cover with three positions, a straw opening designed to resist splashes while holding the reusable straw in place, a drink opening, and a full cover top. The ergonomic handle includes comfort grip inserts for easy carrying and the narrow base fits just about any car cup holder. This cup is designed to hold both hot and ice beverages. It holds seven hours hot and 11 hours cold, and it is supposed to hold your ice for two days, which is really nice. The weight for the 40 ounce soft matte one is 1.4 pounds, and then the dimensions are 3.86 length by 5.82 width by 12.3 height. So for reference, this is how the cup looks next to me. The 40 ounce one really is quite large. So like to carry this kind of against my body, it is a very, very big cup. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing that this is the size that you're looking at. Stanley is known for making drinkware and other related items for things like camping. So they're kind of made to be like more rugged. So they have a lifetime warranty. It says our products do what they say we do or we replace them, we guarantee it. So you know that when you get your cup, it is going to last you, which is really good. So if you're spending that $40, $50, at least you know that if anything ever happens to it, you can get it replaced. The cup is part of their adventure series. It is made of 90% recycled material, stainless steel, and is BPA free, which is extremely important for your health. It has a recycled stainless steel icon inside the tumbler. It indicates that your quencher is made from sustainable materials. There is a double wall vacuum insulation, flow state, screw on, three position lid, reusable straw, comfort grip handle. It is car cup holder compatible and dishwasher safe. So one of the questions that 
that we were going to cover in the FAQs, we can just cover now. It is dishwasher safe. I've seen a lot of people ask, like, is the bottle, is the cup, is the lid? It is supposedly all dishwasher safe. You can wash it all. I'm in the habit of washing my nice bottles by hand, so that is what I did. However, knowing that they have a lifetime guarantee, it is very clear both on the website and on the box that they are dishwasher safe. So if you would decide to wash it and you would have any issues, you could always reach out to the company and I'm sure that they would be happy to replace it. I do wanna to clarify too that when you purchase this cup, it does come with the straw, the lid, and the bottle, so it all comes together. So now I wanna talk about where you can buy this cup. The most obvious option is on the Stanley website. Their website is stanley1913.com. You can find all different colors there. Really, there's a lot of color variety. I think once these got so popular, Stanley really liked tried to keep with it and make a lot of different color options. So you should definitely be able to find something that you'd like. The problem is finding it in stock, but we'll get to that in a second. The second place, this is probably the easiest place to go if you're just like out and about shopping and you wanna pick one up, is Dick's Sporting Goods. They have a pretty good selection usually. And then they are selling them now at Target, although I will say I've only seen so far that Target has the first version. So if you're watching this video and you're like, yes, I definitely want one of these cups, but I don't want one that spills, probably avoid Target, at least for now, keep an eye on it. But right now on the website and in stores, they only have the first model. Then you can look at Williams Sonoma, they have some. And then I know that personally by me, I live in North Carolina, there's some other places like Academy Sports. Um, there's, I think Boot Barn even has some. So if you're having a hard time finding them or you wanna know near you what locations have it, you can go on the Stanley website, stanley1913.com, and you can search by your zip code and you can see any of like the little random places that may have them if you wanna check your stock. Now, these cups have gone through through various stages of availability. At first when they went viral, it was extremely hard to find them. And then there was a phase recently, like a little bit before Christmas, where you were seeing on Instagram, you were seeing in stores just like, rows and rows and rows of them. I know personally, my husband and I went into Dick's and there were just like a ton of them, like tons of colors, tons of stock, like readily, readily available. And I remember thinking at that time, okay, Stanley got with it. Like they know that everyone wants their cup and they have just, you know, caught up with the demand and they're going to have these stocked for now on. Wrong. They were very, very available for a long time, like on the website and stuff, I mean, you know, for probably about a month. And then right before Christmas, I actually talked to someone at Dick's, like one of the workers at Dick's, and he said that they were really readily available. And then the day or two before Christmas, I think he said Christmas Eve, when everyone was getting last minute gifts, obviously they ran to what the internet said is an easy gift and they have just been sold out since. So right now, looking at the Dick's Sporting Good website, there's pretty much none on there. William Sonoma, same thing. I know when I was looking for these, I couldn't find them anywhere literally at all except the Stanley website and they were all sold out except this soft matte one, which is the $50 one. So I will say the regular one is like that kind of like more like a Yeti. It's like that stainless steel material, like kind of more like this cup of a material. And then the soft matte is really beautiful. It is softer to the touch and it's just really nice. I honestly don't think that this would scratch very easily, although I will say it does show marks. So my husband, like the first day I got it, was like, oh my gosh, is that a scratch? And it just will kind of like look like it. Like I, I think it was a hair that was on it. So it is a soft matte. So when you're deciding between them, I mean, I'm touching it right now and it's not putting fingerprints, but just keep in mind that this one maybe could show more. I don't know, I like it. I mean, I don't think it's very dirty. I think it's pretty good. I mean, you could see a little bit here. Anyways, back to the availability. So on the Stanley website right now, the 30 ounce is sold out, the 40 ounce is sold out, and then the 40 ounce with the soft matte is still available in this beautiful color that I have here, the color that I'm giving away, and then like one other kind of like a burnt orange color. Now, I will say, I've made videos like this before and I've literally filmed the day before putting the video out and been like, this is a stock and then it changes. So if you're looking at one of these, I will put links in the description box below that you can like go to and check. Like I'll put kind of the main places that I've listed out where you can find these cups. That way you can check the stock and availability depending on like when you're watching this video. If you're watching it far from now, things may be very different. So make sure you just check those links and keep up to date if you're really looking to get one. Next, I wanna talk about my experience with the cup and then we will move on to comparing it to some of the other bottles that I like or some of the other bottles that I know are just like really popular or around the same price point. So this is the first Stanley cup that I've ever owned. I never owned the first one, although I have been very aware of these cups and I really think that they're very aesthetic and it is like really hard to avoid how much everyone's saying to get one. So I've really wanted one of these. And honestly, I was going to buy one of these cups. When I saw that they were super in stock, I was gonna go get one. And then I went after Christmas and they were sold out. So I've never had the first version. I do know that it said it leaked. So I wanted to show you that 
this cup, this is the new system. So this is the straw. When you take the straw the whole way out, I'm going to stick it down. We talked about this lid and how it goes in three different positions. So here you can see the straw hole. Now, if you move this thing, this moves. So the one way is where this hole lines up with this hole and that is the drinking position. So this is where you put the straw. If you move it like this, then this is open, but the straw isn't gonna fit in here perfectly. So I just like would avoid that. I don't really know the purpose of that. And then if you go like this, this covers the hole and then there's like no actual hole in the cup under this. So this is the way that it would be spill proof. So we're gonna just test it out right here. Like I am literally over my hardwood floors. Oh, okay, we got, a, we got a little, a little leak, but actually I think, yeah. Yeah, okay, to me, I don't I don't find this spill proof. It's it's leaking on me right now. So to me, I I wouldn't call this spill proof. That is where it's completely closed off, like completely closed off. So putting it back into position. If you're just carrying this cup and you're just like carrying it down and stuff, like it doesn't leak. It doesn't leak like out of the side. I haven't really had any issues with daily use, but I don't want you to get confused and think that like you can just do whatever with this cup. This straw, like if you tilt this thing, it's a straw, like you're going to have liquid come out. And even when it's in that fully closed position, it's still gonna leak. I have different cups like this, like this Contigo, where you can actually like lock the cup and like you can do whatever you want with it and it will not leak. So that's really nice, but this that's not the case with this. I think it probably did solve some issues having that lock feature, but if you dump the cup, you're gonna dump the cup, it's a straw. So the internet got us and my husband and I both really wanted one of these Stanley cups, but I was doing a lot of research and I'm really on this like holistic health journey right now where I'm trying to just switch out a lot of my products in my home to non-tox. And so I ended up buying this clearly filtered water bottle for both of us. I got us one because it has an actual like filter in the bottle and it's the best filtration system on the market right now as far as water bottles go. So it's like way better than the Brita and everything like that. So I got us those and those are pretty expensive as well. I think they were about like $70 and you have to replace the filter like every two months if you use it regularly. So I decided to spring and get those and I'm super happy. I honestly feel like I don't need another bottle ever. Like I'm just really happy with it. It does what I need as far as like, I just know my water that I'm drinking is clean and that's like of utmost priority to me. However, even after buying it, my husband still wanted the Stanley. So I went and I decided to get this cup for him. And so knowing the rage and knowing like the price point and everything and how everyone wants to know, like, why is this cup so popular? What makes it so great? And why is it so expensive? Like, is it worth the money? I wanted to really review it for you and like go through all of that so that you can make an educated decision as well. So I did go through and I did buy him a cup and I have been using it for a while. And I do really like it, honestly. It fits into my car cup holder with no problems. It's really easy as far as that's concerned. It is a very beautiful cup. Like there's no denying that it is extremely aesthetic. These are like grippy to help you carry the cup a little bit better. There's a little grip in here. Again, it has this nice thing up top. It has the little like Stanley logo, the Stanley logo up front, which I think is a little bare, like with like a little crown on top. I think it's really cute. It's a very nice cup. The main thing that I think everybody thinks is the drawing point about this, other than like the way that it looks and everything, is this handle. This handle is like what everyone is going absolutely nuts over. What I think is so crazy is like, most water bottles have holders. Like, see, most water bottles have like some kind of a handle. Although I will say, you know, it is different carrying a water bottle like this and like this. All right, so realistically, this is how you would carry the cup. If you're just like holding it, literally not holding anything else, just kind of standing and talking, you may hold the cup like this. I will say this is a very heavy cup. It's over a pound just in and of itself, but it also holds 40 ounces of water. So it's pretty heavy in the first place. Now, if I hold the cup like this, it's not bad at all. I personally find when I hold the handle like this, it is very heavy. And it's kind of just because it's all like in your wrist. It's like supporting all of this weight in your wrist versus like in your hands like this. So what is a really great feature, like what's supposed to be the best feature of the cup? I honestly find I don't really like it personally. It is a very big handle and it's kind of really difficult to like, just like hold a cup like this. Now, if you're holding it down here, this is pretty easy. This, you can kind of hold it up like this. It's not so much in your wrist. It's a lot easier. So if you're just like walking down like this, it's really not heavy. It's really not like that big of a deal. It's more so when you are like kind of carrying it like this, that you kind of, it feels like it needs supported. And it's kind of just like awkward. Like you kind of have to have your hand here. It's a really big handle, but I don't know why it's so big because like how else are you gonna hold it? Like you kind of have to hold it up like this and it's just, it's a little bit uncomfortable versus 
a bottle like this, any of them that have like a top carrying handle, you just like carry down like this and it's still easy. And then you lift it up and you drink like this. And it's still easy. I don't know. I personally just, as far as this handle is concerned, I don't think it's terrible. But what I find is when I am leaving the house, so say I have a lot of stuff. Now this isn't, no, there's really nothing in these bags, but when I'm carrying a lot of things, what I find is I typically am just like holding it like this anyways. I kind of just put it in like the crook of my elbow until I get into the car. If I carry it down like this, see like this could be an issue if you're carrying the lunchbox. It's just, I don't know, like you can really, it doesn't really help out that much. Your whole hand is occupied so you don't have as much room for like any of the bags, your laptop, your keys, your phone, like your other drinks, like whatever. So if I was carrying another drink, like say I have a coffee, pretend this is my coffee, I would have to carry my coffee like this. This would just go in my elbow so that I can like open the door and everything. I don't know, I just find that, I'm just being honest, I don't find this to be like an amazing selling point that you would have to buy this cup just for this handle. One other thing that I'm not absolutely crazy about with this cup is that I did a review of the Cowpack water bottle holder and it just like holds your water bottle and obviously this one cannot fit in there because of the handle. So that's one thing about it that I just personally am not crazy about because I do really like being able to put my thing in there, but that's, that's a pretty niche thing. So we won't focus too much on that. But next I wanted to go through some of the other really nice water bottles and I want to go over these because when you're looking at like, is this the cup for you? Should you buy a Stanley cup? Should you invest in it? I think it's really important to consider what your goals are and what you're trying to do. I really am invested in this topic because I am personally a huge water drinker. We all know that water is not only like essential to your health and well being as a person, but it just makes you feel really good to drink it. So I find personally that the best water bottle is the one that's going to make you drink water. So when you're deciding on a water bottle, I think that you really need to find one that is going to target your specific needs. So let me show you a couple of the other ones that are higher price points that I think are really great water bottles. That way you can make the proper decision. I think if you want a really aesthetic bottle, if you want like this carrying handle, if you want to just be like on top of the trends and you want to just like feel really cool, like feel really with it and nice. And you know, if you find that this would be like easier for you, depending on like whatever career you have or whatever your things are that you you do during the day, this, if you think this handle would really help you, then I think the Stanley is the way to go. Another option is I bought this clearly filtered water bottle. This is the one I was talking about that I got my husband and I. It has this thing inside of it that is a big water filter and you need to replace it about every two months if you use it regularly, but it is the best filtration system on the market for water bottles. So if you were a person who is really trying to like optimize your health and you really want the absolute cleanest water as possible and you travel a lot, maybe you go to places that don't have the best water and you just want to have a water bottle that can filter all of that out, this would be a really good water bottle for you. This one I believe was around like the $70 mark. If you are someone who is really into technology, who really thrives with tracking metrics and you just really want like the best of the best all the time as far as your technology goes, then I would recommend the Hydrate Spark. I really like these water bottles. There's a bunch of different ones and these range like they're around like $70, $80. This is one of the initial models and then this is like one of the newer models but not the newest model. But basically there's an app and you can go in and you can input all different kinds of metrics. So like your height, weight, your weather, all of that kind of stuff and it'll tell you like what your water goal is. So it'll tell you even like for the day, like depending on your exercise and stuff, how much water you should be drinking. And then it will send you reminders. On this bottle, it lights up down here. On this bottle, the whole entire thing lights up and you can customize it. Like you can tell it not to light up overnight. You can tell it like if you have a really important meeting with your boss and you don't want your water bottle like glittering all over the place, you can mute it for an hour. Like you can do all kinds of stuff. It's a really, really nice app. I do talk about this bottle more in another video I have. I can link that up in the cards and in the description box below. But I just think if you're a really like tech savvy person, you need reminders. You can get reminders on your phone. You can get re like physical reminders on your bottle. So if you're someone that even just like having a cup beside you is not gonna be enough, this is a really great one if you need like that visual reminder. So I don't see a lot of people with these and typically when I use these, I have a lot of people like really interested in them so I just wanted to mention those as well so I hope that was helpful now I want to announce my giveaway so this giveaway is obviously not affiliated with Stanley in any way I wish it was but this I purchased with my own money I just truly believe in all of the benefits of water and I believe that it really takes the right water bottle sometimes to remind you to get to drink water every single day and to meet your water goal so I'm going to be giving away this is the Stanley cup this is what you'll be receiving is this nice 
box. It has all of the information on it. It is the sand dune color again. It is really, really beautiful. It's the cream one. I have it right here. I just don't want to open it up and show you because it's packaged really nicely. Entering the giveaway is really easy. There's only three steps. Step number one is you must be subscribed to my channel at With Love Savannah. Step number two is you need to follow me on Instagram at With Love Savannah. And then step number three is I want you to comment below what you think of the Stanley Cups. That comment is what's going to like signify to me that you've entered the giveaway. And then I will put everybody's names in a wheel and that's how I would decide. So it will be a random giveaway and I will announce the giveaway winner two weeks from now. I will notify you in the comments below and then I'll DM you on Instagram in order to get your address. So that part is really important. The only other thing is you must be in the US and that is all. I'm so excited for one of you to win this cup. I thank you all so much for being here and I'm just like really excited to give back and give one of these to you. And so yeah, with that, my overall consensus on this bottle is that it is very gorgeous, very aesthetic. There is a ton of colors and a ton of options for everybody. The cons for me are the handle. It is not completely spill proof, but for me, that's not like an absolute necessity in a bottle. So I think whether it's worth it to you really just depends on how much you're willing to spend on a water bottle, what you really want out of a water bottle. So I hope that this video was helpful in allowing you to make a decision and I'm excited for one of you to win this. So thank you all for watching. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. One of us gotta say